Good morning. Glenn, old man with a cam. We're in Lakeview Cemetery where today we're going to video several famous people. The request came from Doris, a friend of mine, who can't make it out here, but she wanted to see her great grandparents' graves. So we're going to do that. Right now, behind me is this monument which is in the memory of the teachers and the children who lost their lives in the Collinwood School fire. We're out at Lakeview Cemetery. We've kind of tracked down the area where we're looking for Doris's great-grandparents. And as you can see, there are many, many graves out here. But the area we're trying to track in is up this way. And the two spaces that would be right here are where they're buried. Because there's Billy Haupt. That would be your grandmother, your great-grandmother, and your great-grandfather. And unfortunately, there aren't any markers there. They're in good stead. They're with the pits. The Van Dorn, the Pickering, the Queen. We're going to drive down this road and up the hill to the Garfield Memorial. From my research, I understand it's an exquisite building. One of the more famous people who is interred here is James A. Garfield. This is his memorial. President Garfield. Who was shot in Washington in 1881, July 2nd, I believe. And he succumbed to that wound in September of that year, 1881. He was buried here in Cleveland because he did express that he wanted to be interred here. Unfortunately, we can't get in there right now. They're open April, even at that. Who knows if they'll be open with the current virus condition. Very impressive. President Garfield was the 20th president of our country. I understand the inside of the mausoleum is quite impressive. Garfield's monument in the background. I think we did find Rockefellers. 
Let's go over this way. It took them almost a year to build it. And the rock was quarried from the east coast. They almost couldn't get it here by rail because it was so heavy. They were afraid that several bridges might collapse under its weight. It was started in 1898 and finished in 1899. The cost was at that time $60,000 for the sculpting, the shaping, and transportation. Then in terms of 2021, 20, it's close to two and a half million dollars. And people are leaving money to them still. Here's the name that caught my eye. This is the resting place of Francis Glidden, industrialist and founder of the Glidden Paint Company. And here we find Mortimer Dormer Leggett, lawyer, educator, businessman, and a general in the Union Army in the Civil War. He led the victorious Vicksburg campaign, earning him a monument at the Vicksburg National Military Park. No, can't be. I don't think so. Maybe. Got a nice little walkway that goes around this section of it. Remembrance, Remembrance Walk. Be with you and you with you. <laughs> Fanny Lewis, City Council. Remember that lady. She was a pistol. She could go get them. Yeah, look. Can you see the goldfish in there? Oh, I like that. We're going to walk over there. So many creative people. Huh? <laughs> Just silently sitting and reading. In the depth of winter, I finally learned there was in me an invisible summer.
let's go up this way. This is where I was headed to begin with. Ellen Freed, who coined the phrase rock and roll, was born in Cleveland, Ohio native and radio disc jockey, coined the phrase in 1951. Sometime after, I saw him over on Judson, Judson and Lee, Alan Freed. And as I was looking here, I saw another person that I met. Glenn Schwartz. Glenn Schwartz was a great guitarist. The Untouchables, Elliot and S. Oh boy. I do believe this is it. Elliot Ness. His son, his loving wife, Elizabeth. Elliot Ness would watch TV shows about him. The Untouchables. He helped bring down a lot of gangsters. I might have to do some research on that. Well, why are there nothing but pens? The Way Chapel. The concept of the Way Chapel and receiving vault was that of Jephthah Wade II, the grandson of Jephthah Wade, co-founder of the cemetery in Western Union. The interior of the chapel was designed by Tiffany and Company. The stained glass window, which is titled Flight of the Soul, was designed by Tiffany artisan Agnes Northrup. It is thought that Louis Comfort Tiffany designed the interior of the chapel himself. Tiffany artist Frederick Wilson designed the mosaics that adorn the walls. This one is entitled The River of Life. This one is entitled The River of Death, and all of them were installed by Tiffany and Company. Next up is Raymond Johnson Chapman, an American baseball player who played his entire career as a shortstop for the Cleveland Indians. He was hit by a pitch and died 12 hours later. And on the far side of the cemetery is a man we should all know. Every time we pull up to a corner. This is Garrett Morgan. He invented the tricolor stoplight. He also invented the gas mask which saved hundreds of thousands of people. Garrett Morgan. Across the street from Wade Chapel, up on a hill, we find this marker. Louis Germain DeForest. It's actually Captain DeForest, who fought in the Civil War. He was the first interment in the cemetery. The Garfield Memorial and yet, on the other side of it, is the famous Hazrod Angel. Also known as Angel of Death Victorious, was designed by Herman Matson in 1923 for Francis Hazrod, the canning entrepreneur, and his two family members. It features an angel with the torch upside down extinguished. I'll put a link in the description below for more information. 
I think that's going to do it for us today. Saw some very interesting monuments, cruised around a little, and right now we have the backdrop of Daffodil Hill. So I think this is where I'll end my video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and that way you'll be notified of any future videos. And as always, thanks for joining me. Glad to have you along. Have a great day.